how to create a drop down list here in Excel that automatically updates whenever you add here new items. So this is what we're going to see here step by step. So let's say I basically have a data set and I need to use here a drop down list because it's easier to fill in with the information that I need to use. And instead of manually typing in everything, I just click and select the item that I want to use. OK, and it doesn't matter the type of data set or the spreadsheet that you're going to use because it's going to work in all the different situations let's say that way basically i click here in the item in any cell in the item and i can choose the my list but as you guys can see my list go starts in the smartphone and goes all the way down to the headphone okay so i have one two three four five six different items so let's say i'm gonna input here in my list a new item that i can be a b c one two three just a, a simple enter if i come back here to the spreadsheet where i'm using the drop down list if i click in the drop down list here there is no new item add to the list. So how can I make it automatically updates whenever I have an update in the list? Let me read it off everything here. And the first thing that you need to create a list in Excel is click here, data, and then data tools. You can click in this down arrow here and select data validation. Here you can use allow instead of any value. You can choose list. And in the source, you can choose either specific cells where you have the list that you're going to use that you want to use okay or you can manually type it in the items so let's say manually it's going to be something like this item a comma item b comma item c and on and on so this is the logic to create a list in excel let me click here okay and as you guys can see now my list have all the items that i add before but i actually want to use instead of manually type the list i want to use the list that i have here everything all the values let's click i need to select everything that i have in the list you can also create a new spreadsheet just click in this plus sign to add a new sheet and that way you can separate your list from the rest of the spreadsheet so let me come back here to my list select everything and then i can go to insert table and make sure you mark this option right here my table has headers if your table has a header so let's click okay and yeah that's it so now I have a table and we need to transform the data set into a table because whenever I add here a new item, look at what's going to happen. So let's say item one, two, three, enter. The table automatically adds here to me a new row following the same format as before. And that way now this new row right here is included to the table itself. So this is why it's important to use a table because whenever you add new rows, the table is going to include this new row to the table itself. And this is very important to make a drop down list automatically in Excel. Now that we did this step, we can come back here and use the, the data validation again, but with the indirect function in Excel, indirect function. Okay. And the indirect function in Excel works basically taking a range that you selected and import this range to somewhere else. So let's say, let me use any cell here, equal sign, and then I can, let's say, select everything that I have here, but the headers. Okay, so I'm going to select just the items. And as you guys can see here, equal sign, and then uh, the reference is table one, that is this blue table right here, and the column items. So basically, this is what I need to use within the indirect function. Okay, so let me select everything here, right click, and then cope. Okay, now if I use here, equal sign indirect function let it double click here one two and then i'm gonna open quotations mark control v to paste the, the reference that we copied before and then close quotations and close parentheses so let's press enter here and let's see what's gonna happen look now we have here the list that is right here and we're gonna use exactly the same function right here within our data validation and look what's gonna happen if i add here a new item or if i read it off an item let's say item one two three I'm going to right click in this in this row right here and then delete table rows. OK, look at what's happened here. There's no more item one, two, three in my indirect function. Now I'm going to add here a new item with this name, new item. I'm going to press enter. And as you guys can see, my indirect function automatically updates for me with the new item that I just added here. Right click, delete and then table rows. OK, so let me basically cope here everything. Right click scope and that's it now let's come back here to where i want to use the data validation the drop down list select everything where you want to apply the list and then you can go to data data tools data validation and instead of using any value you're going to use list and as source you can select everything delete it 
and then you can press Ctrl V. And basically, we, we're going to have the same function as before, indirect function, but this time within the data validation. Let me press Enter here, OK, and see what's going to happen. Now I have exactly the same list as before, but this time is with uh, automatically updates. So let's say here in this list, as you guys can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different items from smartphone up to headphone, but I'm going to include here in the list a new item, let's say. ABC, one, two, three, enter. Let's include one more, Joe and Excel, and then uh, one, two, three, ABC, and enter. Okay, so I just include here three more items. Let me come back here to the example. And uh, if I can click here in the drop down list, as you guys can see, those new items are already here, appear in the list automatically. So whenever you update or change any value in the, the list that you are using, the data validation is going to be automatically updated for you. And it's gonna work anytime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below. And I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.